like where this is going. Is this appropriate? They just couldn't find a hotel room. <laughs> I've already made this video. That's not how you do it, sir. What? Is it Nam It's sushi! Nigiri sushi! Oh, sushi! <laughs> okay, I did not expect that. <laughs> I don't want to sound racist, but how very Asian. We're in that weird part of the internet again, aren't we? What is this an ad for? Horror? This is really scary. Wow. What the f <laughs> This is a waking nightmare. I didn't want to sleep tonight anyway. Trying to find a way to get your children to eat? <laughs> Scare the shit out of them. <laughs> no! It has nothing to do with the food! What is what I just watch? Ah, the fat one falls. Oh, sour candy. <laughs> wow. Oh. That one actually made a lot more sense than the others. It's a great message for kids. If a strange man in a turtle costume is chasing you, he has candy. Turn around, befriend him. Yes. <laughs> Shaving of the corn too. <laughs> He's gonna tread. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this reminds me of like Battle Royale for some reason. Thumbs up. There you go. Well, I want to buy it now. I kind of want it too. <laughs> <laughs> it just won't stop. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's not terrifying. <laughs> What the hell? This is good. Ah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ta, Betty. That means eat it. We need more commercials like this in the States. I've seen this one. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> oh, God. Is that a real dog? Is that a real boy? What is reality? Stop it, Japan. This is so messed up. <laughs> I've seen a GIF of that. That GIF comes from this video. What? The... That is utterly terrifying. That's amazing. Don't trust that dog. Jump shot. That's the only way to ever end a video. You sit here and you show me all these <laughs> videos, and then one time, finally, you bring me some gold. Something I've never seen before that I really enjoy. Thanks a lot, guys. So what country were those commercials from? <laughs> Japan. Japan. I'm gonna say Japan. Those are all Japanese. We're Chinese, by the way. There's a difference. I think it was Canada. Definitely Canada. Yeah. Canadian commercials are crazy. Yeah. You never know what you're gonna get. So let's talk about the, the sushi commercial. Thoughts about it? High hilarious. Erotic. Yep. Super sexy. What I call foreplay. The girl poured the white stuff on her face and I was just like, where is this going? Whenever I douse myself in paint, I drape myself over a woman. Why do these advertisers think that that's gonna make me want to eat sushi? I'm not hungry, I may be horny now. I'm pretty sure Harley's gonna really enjoy that one. <laughs> that was great. That was a good commercial. And what about the uh, gummy sours commercials? Oh, is that what it was? <laughs> I never got what it was. I wanna try some. It's so Japan, it's like pedo bear but for candies and it's turtles. People in America would like, parents would get pissed off saying this is inappropriate You're showing an adult chasing children. A turtle man chasing children that didn't seem to mind that a giant terrifying turtle man was feeding them candy. We should really just think about that sentence for a second. I didn't understand there was a big turtle and little kids and then there was a big kid and a little turtle. It's yes. It totally makes sense. It reminded me personally a lot of what it's like when I'm trying to get a girl to date me. <laughs> I've got sours. By the end, it's all ding. And how about the commercial with the little baby things that were terrifying the child? Oh, that was freaky. That was a commercial for abortion, and it worked. I during it, made an appointment to go see my doctor and up my birth control regimen. I felt like I was doing the same face that the girl on the commercial was doing, like, what is happening right now? I still don't know what that is. Once again, why does that make me want to eat their product? I don't know. Kewpie? The Kewpie's like the number one baby doll in Japan. It's like Cabbage Patch Kids. You should just replace the music and just be like either screaming or just high pitch something <laughs> and you have yourself like a, like an amazing horror flick. <laughs>
What were they selling? Was it, I thought it was like sushi rolls or like little hot dogs. Was that for candy? Noodles, right? Is it pasta made out of babies? It was like a spaghetti something. That was for pasta sauce. Pasta sauce, duh. Oh, of course it is. Oh, what was with the baby dolls and the spinning and the creepiness? Hmm, pasta, right. <laughs> Pardon me, pasta sauce. And what about the dog one? There's a story in that commercial. What was going on? Oh, there was a story. The kid was heartbroken. Something we would write about. <laughs> a boy that has his heart broken gets chased by a demonic dog and falls in love with a girl. There's a lot of overtones of bestiality in a lot of these commercials. The dog became bipedal at the end, which is, I had to suspend my disbelief there. Um, <laughs> As if I wasn't already from the start. It reminded me of like a, a big woman, like a big Sasquatchy like WNBA woman. Is that, should I say, is that bad? <laughs> just like, <laughs> I don't know, I'd have to watch it again. They're just saying this name of the brand over and over and over again. All they're saying is consomme punchy. That's like watching a little story and then some being like Doritos, 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 Doritos. But what was going on when the dog did this? Oh, that's the body of the dog with the head of a girl. What's happening, guys? He was having an anime sad face. I think the doll head with the mirror was supposed to symbolize like, inner beauty. Oh, you can't do that? <laughs> I can do that, just wait. The Japanese culture is very Dude. complex. <laughs> <laughs> they think differently. The more you try and analyze it, the more you're gonna hurt your brain. Why do these commercials go viral here in America? Um, it's the WTF factor. WTF factor. Because they're crazy. These pop up and they're just so not what we're used to. That's why they're viral. Because they leave us with blank expressions like this. So they're dumb, but well, they're smart, but dumb in a smart way. They're weird. Do you think in Japan these are considered to be completely bizarre? <laughs> Probably not. No, I think in Japan this is totally normal. I've been to Japan and there are some very strange things. I think their humor is way more advanced and I just don't get it yet. I do think it's normal, but they know it's it's kind of weird. You know what I mean? It's just a cultural thing, right? You know what's really weird that we Americans do and don't think is weird? When you're watching a football game, how it's like like all the little symbols that are happening. We just take that in and we think it's totally normal. So in Japan, sure, Sure, the commercials are different from ours, but are they strange? Is there anything in American culture that you think would be looked at as completely bizarre to the Japanese? No. America's awesome. <laughs> Everything we do makes sense. We don't have anything that touches those commercials, no. That we don't take care of our elderly. That's a little weird. We eat with silverware, not chopsticks. That's probably bizarre to them, right? Our love of football probably confuses them a lot. So the Super Bowl commercials are probably like, just way over their heads. If you showed an Old Spice commercial over there and they didn't understand English, they would think that we were insane. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Have you seen Gusher commercials? A little black girl eats a watermelon candy and her head turns into a watermelon and explodes. Racist and confusing, just like those. You're a neutral party from a different country. Like, yeah. So do you prefer American commercials or Japanese commercials? Japanese, for sure. Sorry. <laughs> and what would you say to the creators of Japanese commercials if they stumbled upon this video? Keep up the good work. <laughs> Make horror games. Would you like a hug? <laughs> Can I have your brain when you die? Send me a year supply of those delicious looking little candies. Don't stop taking whatever the heck it is you're taking to, to make those. Gambara yori shikate ga nai. That means do your best for you have no choice. Thanks for watching another episode of YouTubers React. What do you guys want us to watch next? Tell us in the comments below and we just might. If you like this episode of YouTubers React, make sure you subscribe to all these other YouTube channels. I mean, you're probably gonna like 90% of them, but you know, you take the risk on that 10%, not a big deal. Can this I is, live here? This is... And just watch videos? There's, there's no bed though. There's a floor. Bye, hoshiwa. Ja, matane. Or see you next time on YouTubers React. Oh.